Hello folks, this is the Gamer Nerd, and welcome to my very first episode of Childhood Memories. On Childhood Memories, I will describe what I play and look back on them with fond, fresh memories. So for today's episode, we have actually two childhood memories. That's right, two memories for the price of one. They are a game of Pac-Man, which is on the trial version of Pardon the interruption. Anyway, we have Pac-Man, which was available in the arcades and is on the trial version of Microsoft's Return of Arcade, which is an awesome game, by the way, from what I've seen in the trailer and what I've played of the original Pac-Man demo. And I gotta admit, they did a really awesome job with Pac-Man. I mean, it's amazing. It will take your breath away. Like, for real. And with that, let's get on to the memories. Note that all video you see in this Childhood Memories episode is recorded through a Windows 98 virtual machine from VMware using an unregistered version of Hypercam. So, Apologies if some of the text is unreadable, such as dialog boxes, error messages, the works. Anyway, let's get started. Hey guys, you ever heard of Bill Clinton? The guy who did all the Take Your Best Shot shorts? Well, he's made his own program and done it with the cooperation of 7th level. So let's take a look at it. Here we have best shot, games, screen savers, wallpaper, icons, and noisy bits. So first we're going to check out the screen savers. The screen savers are usually helpful for when you need to be away from your computer for a while. I'm going to go ahead and preview one of them. <laughs> oh, that's good. Cancel out of that. And let's check out the games. Headshot, pot shot, and line shot. We're going to go ahead and give these a quick install. And let's start off with Headshot. Alright, and you can choose between one to two players and a skill level of Novice, Advanced, or Pro. I'm going to go ahead and click play here. Now in Headshot, for um, Bill Clinton's Take Your Best Shot game, the pieces of wood act as a shield. So, if you run out of pieces of wood, all you have left is your paddle. Which is kind of awkward to be honest. In Headshot, in its own little way, Reminds me of Atari's breakout game. See, each of, see, each, each of Bill Clinton's games is their own take on a classic Atari game. For instance, Bill Clinton's headshot is a... Um, uh, let's see, it's a... Um, it's a breakout clone. Oh yeah, I got a bonus! It's pretty cool. And you can move this little guy with the cannon 
using the left and right arrow keys and then click to fire. <laughs> that is so cool. And some of the animations are pretty humorous. Like, for example, this guy getting blown up more and more until he gets popped. That is pretty clever. And I do mean that in a big way. I apologize if my sound card's glitching out a bit. And if I were playing this on a real console or a real 98 PC, it would have turned out better. So. Now, if I recall from my childhood, I was able to play this game as a demo, with, which came with the um, Little Holly's Great Word Adventure in Toon Lane. It's part of a bundle. Oh, come on. It's one rat down. In the bonus round for this game, you have to Ooh. Regardless if you um complete or fail the bonus round, you still get bonus points, which is still pretty cool in and of itself. The game continues until you run out of balls. That's actually pretty... That's actually a pretty good reference to some arcade roots. So I have three balls left. Now, all the um, hits you make on the people's heads are references to sketches from Bill Clinton's Take Your Best Shot. For example, the guy, getting, the guy getting his face blown off is a reference to the um, sketch where he uses the cannon. That's pretty cool. And there's this little interactive 
and take your best shot also comes in the form of a little interactive toy. And that is, in and of itself, pretty amazing. And we're down to the last life. So. Gotta make it count. Alright. Did pretty good. So. Let's fix it out of that and move on to the next game, which is called Hot Shot. Now, if Hot Shot. This is based on Pong, mm -hmm. as, in, as evidenced by the uh, paddle selection. So let's begin playing that game. Now the objective here is to hit, hit the uh, pieces of wood. Hit all the pieces of wood and you're taken to the bonus round. Ooh, a bonus round. This bonus round has you trying to hit the paddle as many times as you can for as long as you can. Now, in two player mode, I think. Both players' paddles are controlled separately, but I can't be sure. Unless both players are taking turns. Oh. And again, just like with Headshot, the game goes on until you run out of lives. This is actually my favorite game in the Take Your Best Shot game because this is the game I remember playing uh, uh, in the demo version of the Take Your Best Shot. Okay, not what I meant to do there. Uh oh. Alright, next game. The final game on this one is called Line Shot. And it's a baseball game. Let's make the picture automatic and right. let's play ball. Play ball.
Oh. Okay. Strike. Strike three. You're out. Had two outs today. Strike. Okay, so. Strike. Only problem is, with this game, I can't Strike. seem to get the timing down. Foul ball! Strike three, you're out! Strike! You're out! Ooh. So he's still taking the arrow keys and Strike. the space bar at the same time. That's three outs, no score, and the visitors are back in the outfield. Home team in back. That's three outs, no score, and the home team is back in the outfield. Visitors, batter up! Ooh, line drive. Oh, I was supposed to be up in space. Strike! Strike! Strike three, you're out! Strike! Ooh, another line drive. Okay. Visitors, batter up! Strike! 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 Ooh! I wish I read up on the controls of this game. Strike three, so. you're out. That's three outs, no score, and the visitors are back in the outfield. Home team in back. That's three outs, and the home team takes the field. Visitors, batter up.
How the home team manages for 14 runs is beyond me. Is it just me? Or is it randomly decided when the ball is going to hit? Strike three! You're out! Because that's what it feels like to me. You're out! That's three outs, no score, and the visitors are back in the outfield. Home team at bat. Okay, last inning. Strike! Foul ball! Strike three! You're out! Strike! Ooh, a double. I'll be honest, that was kind of crazy. Now, wallpaper is where you can select which pictures you want, whether you want a living wallpaper or just a regular wallpaper. The living wallpaper is like an animated GIF or something. And here we have um, here we have all the best shot icons, which are all the icons you can put on like your um, cursor and stuff. And noisy bits are like for events for Windows and app commentary. And all that good stuff. And you have keyboard, which is which allows you to select which sound you want for your keyboard. I'm gonna cancel out of that, and there's one last thing we have to try. Best shot. All right. This shot is like that little stress reliever game where you can where you can do whatever you want to join the boss.
And that's about it. So until next time, this is the gamer. And thanks for watching. Whew. Is it just me? Or is it getting hot in here? Anyways, while I go get my bed straightened out, I want you to sit back, relax, and stand by. This next childhood memory comes from a place very special to me. The local arcade. Unfortunately though, this version is also mapped to the same controls that Hypercam uses. Which means I'll have to use a different key combination. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let's reset this game. Okay. Let's begin again. There we go. That didn't go so well. Now, you can see why Pac-Man is one of my favorite games of all time in the arcades. It was so much fun watching a little blue little Pac-Man eat all the dots. It was awesome. And it was one of the reasons why I have such love for video games today. Next level. That did not go good. Wait, did I say good? I meant well. Oh yeah!
looks like that's the end. At least it was fun while it lasted. Anyway, Pac-Man. One of my favorite games of all time. You can find it anywhere nowadays. Arcades, GameCube, PS2, um, let's see, PS1 even. Heck, you can find the PS1 version of this game. That goes to show you just how awesome it is. Anyway. This has been Pac-Man on Return of the Arcade, so stay tuned for more childhood memories. And this has been Childhood Memories. I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation of a little trip back in time, if you will, to um, the era of classic Windows 95 games. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyhow, apologies for the interruption there. So, this was a little trip back in time to the classic era of Windows 95 games. And keep in mind that this is only the first episode of Childhood Memories. Stay tuned for a little more. I'm the Gamer Nerd, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.